So again, the fading LEDs is a nice effect, um, in my opinion, right there. Here, we are using a 555 timer to set it. Now, we are actually looking at the capacitor voltage that is uh, going up and down right there. It's being transferred to the LED, but it cannot do so uh, directly. So this is just wired in a stable mode, which keeps the capacitor charging and discharging. You can see we're not using the output there. We are to our signal voltage, uh, the uh, capacitor. Going to the plus input right there. This is an op amp, an LM358, wired as a voltage follower because we have the output to the inverting input right there. So as the voltage goes down, because the capacitor voltage is going down, we're going to get closer to ground here. The red LED is going to get brighter because it's coming from the uh, positive supply. And as the voltage goes up, remember it bounces between one third and two thirds supply voltage, the LED uh, dims because uh, we equalize the voltage. So now here's a uh, view of the uh, schematic diagram I have for this circuit where the LED uh, gets brighter and dimmer, you know, not somewhat quick, but uh, kind of a nice pace as far as I'm concerned. So uh, the LED gets brighter when the output gets closer to ground right there. And then as the output uh, voltage goes up, the LED gets dimmer because there's uh, no voltage difference. We have it wired as a voltage follower. And uh, so the voltage that uh, the output's going to be is based on what this capacitor is going to be. The capacitor cannot provide power though, that's why we have the amplifier though. It's just looking at the voltage. And uh, when I had two LEDs that were alternating flashing, I used uh, higher value resistors there, about twice as much, um, because uh, each one of them was like flashing, and so it didn't need to be as fast, in my opinion, to look cool. So again, Capacitor charges through that resistor and down, and then discharges through that one. Their values determine the speed 